VDM released the second audio today and I took time to listen to the audio and uh, if anybody is still in doubt as to the authenticity, authenticity and the veracity of that tape then such a person is not only being deliberately mischievous or has a very very deranged mind vdm didn't even do well in analyzing the tape but there are a few pointers in that tape that i picked and i feel the world should know you know in the sub on this falana's case on this bobriski's case i made some videos and i told san falana to not push it that the more he pushes it the more secrets will appear vdm said that he was waiting for the litigation to start then he will uh, release the tape well, let me go into the tape as I... There's no need to play the tape because a lot of us have listened to it. So let me just uh, analyze the tape. That tape clearly is not an AI. Like I said, AI, no matter how intelligent no matter how intelligent a machine is, it cannot have a mind. Therefore, there is a unitary, uh, there's, there's an AI for one, no matter how intelligent an AI is, to generate a conversation, a conversation with an AI generated interface, is mostly not natural mostly not not natural so a real tape you can you can understand a real tape from the pace of conversation the pace of response the 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 the, the um uh, the undulation the curves the natures i mean let me not let me not be too grandiloquent in describing the authenticity of the tape that tape is real the tape is real so let's cross that bridge that tape is very very real that tape is very very real and the next time they invite bobriski to the house of assembly and he pretends to be sick again Wallahi tallahi billahi lazil. Anyway, I won't I won't say anything. Let it not be that I'm using my page to encourage violence. But the part that really got me in that tape was the fact that when Bobriski was first and foremost, Bobriski is a loud mouth. Bobriski is a loud mouth. But in that tape. To even add to the naturality of that tape, to even add to the to the truthfulness of that. now, like as I was saying before the interruption, in that tape, what really got me that's the second tape that VDM released is the fact that somebody walked into the room and Bobriski told him that come in, come in, come in, come in. Uh, I'm on a phone call. Then the person who was receiving the phone call, the phone call noticed the unusualness of that scenario and asked her or him or she, "Where are you?" And she confirmed she is not in the prison. She is somewhere close to the prison, but not in the prison. Such that when she has this, 
Why am I calling her she? When he has visitors, they will, they will, they will, they will call him to come in and attend to his visitors. Now, in the eyes of the visitors, it will seem as if he is in the prison, but in truth, he is outside. The Falana should be careful. This man just wants to rubbish his name. To be very frank, the person really rubbishing Falana's name is not VDM, it's not Bobriski, it's Falana himself. It's Falana himself. Now, when I was watching that tape, I got thinking because we must get to unveiling that Godfather. We must get to that point where we will unveil that Godfather. But so far, I have a few clues as to who this Godfather will be. Number one, in the first tape, Bobriski said, the Godfather said, Emma, worry. Emma, worry. So, the Godfather could be somebody that when they communicate, they communicate in Yoruba language. Now, that does not necessarily mean that the guy is a Yoruba man. Because it could be somebody with another tribe living in a place where he adopted the Yoruba language as his everyday communicative language. But Bobriski said, his godfather said, Emma, worry. Okay? Now, let's ask ourselves, who could call the controller general of prisons and arrange a special treatment for an inmate? Who is that person that has that type of power? Now, some people are saying Falana. No, Falana, I don't think Falana has that type of power to call the controller of prisons to make a special arrangement for Bobriski. I don't think I don't think Falana has that type of power. I don't think he has. The people that can have that kind of power could be the president or the governor of a state, commissioner of police, one general, or somebody of high military standing, political standing. Those are the two people that can order that kind of this thing. Because who will the controller of prisons listen to? To the point of making a special arrangement, preparing a room that is well furnished. According to Bobriski, the room is well furnished. With, 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 with even a maid, an assistant. An assistant. So, you know, this is Nigeria where the worst can happen and nothing happens. Trust me, if this were to be the United States, for instance, my brother, this would have been a, a man, I mean, a, a, a humongous scandal. This would have been, this would have been a, I mean, a great aid news in all the newspapers and in all the TV stations. But this is Nigeria. I strongly I strongly okay. Nigeria is gone honestly because in this second video he thought that Bobriski further confirmed that money laundering was among the charges he said he makes um, what's it? Content for hundred thousand. What is it? What was it? What he she he, he uh -huh, that he influenced for hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars. Now hundred thousand is approximately one hundred and seventy million naira. 
Even Two Face DBI will not influence for that amount on social media. Clearly, the whole idea of jailing Bobriski for for spraying money was also cover up the money laundering. Now, if they bring Bobriski to question, if they bring Bobriski to question, Bobriski Bob, Bob doesn't look like somebody who is stone hearted. As far as I'm concerned, he is lily livered and he might start spilling the beans. I can assure you that if you bring Bobriski, you don't even need to pressure him that much for him to reveal who this godfather is. Now, this godfather should be a renowned name. It's a renowned name. So I'm thinking who would so the person must be very, very influential to the point that he even have he has people in the house of reps covering up for him. If you watch the house of reps uh interrogation, the committee, you could see that some people nobody is talking about Bob Risky. Nobody is talking about Bob Risky. God, they help VDMO. God is helping VDM. What they planned for him, they would have just thrown him in the, in the, in the, in the, in the cell and forgotten about him. But for some reason, the guy said they smart. He too is very, very smart. This tape he released clearly vindicates him. I mean the second tape clearly vindicates him. And I am sure the Falanas or whatever will be weary to undertake the litigation that they had planned to take on VDM because they will just embarrass themselves. They will just embarrass themselves. If after listening to that tape, I am sure that even Falana will not want to go ahead with any legal litigation against VDM. I'm very, very sure. So, what do we do from here? It, it's as if the hands of Nigerians are tied. In fact, you, could, you can notice as I'm talking about it, I'm confused. I don't even know what to say. Because as big as the issue is, it appears Bobrisky Bob might just go scot-free. Not might. Bobrisky is going to go scot-free. Those that are saying that Bobrisky might just go back to cell and complete his jail term. I don't think he's going anywhere else. I don't think he's going anywhere. Because if he's going to go to jail, the Godfather will also go to jail. So who is this Godfather? Now, the last time I made a video, I said, this should have been a case that the president should wait in. The commander-in-chief. Because if commander-in-chief said, bring this, bring a... Uh, uh, um, uh, as of remember, please go into this case and give me a report in 24 hours. Don't look with your face. Anybody that is involved in that team, even if it's my brother, I am sure that within 24 hours, names will start appearing. But clearly, there are some big guns that they are shielding. And the only way they can shield this big gun is not to bring Bob Brisky to talk. Because that guy is loud mouthed. I'm listening to the tape. I'm like, why would somebody who they help you, you know that they put you in a cell, they, they put in an apartment that is not supposed to be the original cell. What you are doing is illegal. And you, are, you start talking on phone that you are the one I can trust. Who trusts help? You don't trust anybody. Like The only person I may just reveal that thing to may be my wife and it must be a wife that i know that kai she except maybe they put knife in her neck but just to go and talk like that 
she won't do that so something is very very wrong this case as simple as you may think it is is testing the foundation the core foundation of we as a people living in this country a woman just called me before setting up the studio and she was she was crying she was asking me if i have vdm's number i said even me too i'm looking for vdm number vdm's number to speak to him and but she was visibly crying that vdm is alone that she's alone and then that vdm is alone is a small boy that they should help him i said trust me that the whole world is behind him somebody called me from cameroon that they want to see the end of the case somebody called me from ghana they want to see the end of the case people who are not nigerians are interested in the case so i ask a simple question what is really difficult in pursuing the truth now this is the result of what you get when you have people at the top corrupt when the head is corrupt everything downward will also be corrupt